Hailing from the remote towns and villages of Western India, they left their ancestral homes and traveled on bullock carts, eventually embarking on a seabound voyage across the Indian Ocean to an unexplored continent. Some left their homes in search of better pastures, while others sought to find a safe haven from religious strife and persecution. As the long-lasting spate of droughts continued to take a heavy toll upon the people of Kach and Katiawan, in common with their compatriots, the Kojas began to migrate in ever-increasing numbers in search for livelihood in eastern Africa. The first challenge that confronted these Koja pioneers was to cross the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean. Oftentimes, strong monsoon winds and the huge waves threatened to capsize the Dows. Waxing lyrical about his sailing experience in his autobiography, entrepreneur Nanji Kalidas, who sailed to Madagascar in 1901, wrote, The tiny vessel was at the mercy of the tempestuous ocean, which heaved and howled like a mad, intoxicating giant. We shook with the terror of obvious death. The fury of the elements could only be overcome if God helped us in the impending doom. Disease and occasional attacks from pirates also claimed the lives of many aspiring migrants. As Koja men migrated to Africa, they left behind many young brides who waited for years, sometimes even a decade, before they could join their husbands. Then there were mothers who sold their heirloom jewelry to pay for the passage for the sons to go to Africa when the family was under dire economic straits. Their second challenge was to establish themselves in a land practically unknown to most of the world. It is really hard to explain, let alone feel, the emotion they must have felt upon seeing land after a month of living in a thou. And our brothers, when they came here, Mombasa, they were in a lot of trouble with the building. They were in a lot of trouble. They were in a lot of trouble with the building. They were in a lot of trouble with the building. They were in a lot of trouble with the building. They were in a lot of trouble with the building. They were in a lot of trouble with the building. They were in a lot of trouble with the building. Today, the flourishing Kocha community around the globe is a testimony to the tenacity and resilience of those early Kocha pioneers. They have given rise to an enterprising progeny, which continues to make its mark around the world. We can come together as a community, regardless of where we are. And Alhamdulillah, we, we, we take great pride and pleasure in, in belonging to this community, which has been pioneers in helping the world at large. Koja philanthropists have done so much for our community. How can we take that work to the next level? How can we get much more cooperation and collective action uh, between and within our community's philanthropists and high achievers? 